in honor of the great weather in Toronto, finally, I'm wearing my shades indoors because I can't be out there because I'm in here filming and this is a nice coffee. It's not alcohol. I wasn't actually going to keep my shades on. That's really rude. Um, but I don't even know if this video requires an intro because as per the title, I'm sure you already know it's another haul because that's what your girl loves to do and you guys love it. So why are we even doing this? So you know the drill. I ordered a bunch of things from Misguided that are really cute. I actually haven't opened them. Well, I opened one or two, but everything else is in a package. So I figured I would kind of do a first impressions try on styling haul. You guys love my styling hauls. And you know what? I think if I'm going to show you guys what I'm buying, it's only fair I show you how I style it. Otherwise, it's like really mean. It's like getting a cheeseburger without the cheese. Like who, who does that? Who really does that? Why do I talk about food again? So as per usual, I will link everything that I've purchased in the description box as well as everything that I'm styling my outfits with. So that's pretty much all. Let's let's jump into the video. Do you guys like this t-shirt? It's so hot right now that I really don't feel like putting on anything like hugging and like thick and really pretty. Um, this is from Pretty Little Thing. I'll link this down below too because I know some of you are going to be asking me for it. But I've literally been living in this t-shirt. Okay, anyways, that's all. Okay, let's get to the video. So I want to start with the accessories that I got. I actually got a few accessories this time around from Misguided. The first one is earrings and I've gotten similar earrings to these in the past. They're just like tiny little hoops with with crosses on the bottom. I like that the hoop is tiny because as much as I love hoops on people and like earrings and a lot of jewelry, I'm just like not that person that wears jewelry out. I don't know what it is. I'm always bare everywhere, but this for this video, this time today guys, I made some effort. I'm wearing this, I'm wearing this, like your girl is going all out. So I got these earrings. I think they're really cute. Let me try them on and see what the quality is like. I like I'm really into like dainty things lately so I feel like these earrings are like not so like in your face kind of you know let's try them on I got them on finally you know your girl doesn't wear earrings often because that was a struggle to get on and I tell you it shouldn't have been they're actually so sturdy the quality is amazing it's kind of like a clasp that closes in so and going nowhere. I feel like I like this better than one of the earrings with like a back but very light. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything and for someone who doesn't wear earrings often this is perfect. It's dainty, light. I feel like it's not so extra and so in your face and I don't know it's kind of subtle. It goes with my whole look you know what I mean? I like I, I don't know which to share first like all these accessories are so amazing. Okay I'll just go with the next one. So this is the next I want to make sure I'm like showing it to you guys nicely because it's so cute. Um, this is the next accessory that I got. Guys it's a fanny pack or a bum bag or a pouch. There's so many synonyms to a fanny pack. Who knew? Tell me this doesn't look bougie and expensive AF. This looks like a Louis Vuitton which I was so shocked when I saw this I was like wait what misguided carries Louis Vuitton now um, kind of doesn't fall within their price range it's just a misguided brand it's super cute though I haven't taken it out yet all the tags and everything still on it but I honestly I saw this and I didn't even hesitate for a second I just like threw it in my cart and checked out so quick because pouches and bum bags and waist bags and fanny packs they sell out so quickly online I'm noticing so I had to jump on it I really hope by the time this video goes up it's not sold out because you guys need this in your life so I would rock this bag like this like cross body kind of right here kind of adds to your outfit and I just paired it with my Chicago t-shirt and basic denim shorts but it just goes to show that you can just like spice up an outfit with just a little bit of accessories and the best part about this is that you don't have to like worry about your bag like falling off your shoulder constantly and like you know it's just like very comfortable to wear and it is big enough to fit all your essentials like your wallet your phone your lipstick your lip gloss and all that jazz so super cute I think it's a real uh, statement piece and it's a definite must grab and then I got myself a pair of sandals 
these are so cute i really like this crisscross uh type of design at the moment and they're mules because ain't nobody got time to buckle up your shoes it's summer outside it's nice out we only get like two months of summer so i ain't trying to spend all my time putting my shoes and my clothes on i want to be out the door this is perfect slides right in it's black it's gonna go with almost pretty much anything i own but then it has a touch of like dressiness to it because of the heel it's like this chrome rose gold type of color considering it's kind of like a granny style right here i like that it dresses it up on the side here so i feel like my mom's gonna try to seal these for me the only thing is she can't wear heels that are this high so that may have saved me i got these in a size six and they are very true to size you can stick to your size oh i also forgot to mention everything that i got in this haul is 50 percent off misguided lately honestly i'm real happy about this they're always pretty much 50 percent off like if ever they're not i'm like but then like literally the next day it's back to being 50% off again I do get charged customs but I've noticed if I order like a whole bunch of things or little like it doesn't matter the value of items I'm ordering I'm always getting charged the same customs it's usually like 40 bucks I'm in Toronto it's so it's better to order more it's kind of like paying a ridiculously expensive shipping but even with the customs their their items work out to be a lot cheaper than things in stores and also they're super trendy these are things that you can't really find in stores sometimes too so you win some, you lose some. In this case, you win yourself a dope ass wardrobe. Okay, so the first item I have here, honestly, hot out now. I mean, when I ordered it, it was still kind of cold in Toronto. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to wear this at the moment, but I would totally wear this if I was going on vacation to the airport on a plane because we all know how cold it is on planes. So I just may end up wearing it this summer. This is the first item. It's just this like oversized sweater. It's crew neck and it says USA on it with the flag. The material feels really nice actually. It's very thick. It's fleece lined inside. I got it in a US size 4. This logo right here is stitched on this is printed however i've been noticing like jackets and like t-shirts and stuff with a lot of like the us logos lately and it just looks really cool i'm really digging it for like that casual type of look so this is how i style this sweater um uh, it is so cozy let me just say that i paired it with these long type of denim shorts they're not like super short shorts which is what i like about them your whole butt cheeks are like not hanging out and I paired it with my new favorite accessory. It just adds like this little touch to your outfit. And I paired it with some white sneakers. You can literally pair them with any white sneakers. It doesn't have to be these exact same ones. This outfit would be so perfect for like a chillier summer night. Some of our summer nights can get really cold at night. So I'm picturing like if I'm going for a walk by the water, by the lake, I would totally rock this outfit. It's comfortable, it holds all your necessities, and it will keep you warm while looking hella cute you know okay i had to take that sweater off i was like boiling in it especially under these lights so on to the next item that i got i'm excited about this Ooh, this feels really nice so it's kind of like this wrap type of blazer situation it has a tie around the waist yeah it has lapels like a blazer so it's basically a blazer but the material is like a stretchy material feels really nice it's actually really thick i'm kind of surprised so this monogram kind of reminded me of like the Fendi monogram that's so in right now obviously this is worth like pennies and nickels compared to like the Fendi outfit so if you wanted a cheaper alternative but wanted to get that look this is why I grabbed it I got it in a US size 4 that's a UK size 8 they actually had a whole range of things in this pattern so if you don't want to do a blazer they actually had like crop tops they had cycle shorts they had unitards like the whole nine yard um so if this is not your cup of tea you got plenty of options so let's see how this looks on okay i am in love with this it fits so well and i love that it actually closes properly and then there's this tie around the waist 
My only beef with this blazer is that it doesn't have a button or anything and I'm a little bit more conservative so I pinned it. No big deal, it's a very easy fix. I ain't that mad at it. I actually kept it on with the same pair of denim shorts that I wore with the last outfit but this just goes to show that denim shorts don't have to be super casual. You can totally dress it up depending on what you're pairing it with. And for shoes, I wore these like strappy gold heels. I got these from Forever 21 like two years ago so I'll definitely find something that's very similar and link it down below because the blazer is a little bit on the dressier side I kind of wanted to like dress up this whole look also keeping it a little bit effortless with the denim shorts and I kept on all of the accessories I think they just like go really well with this whole outfit and I had to throw on these shades because it's just like the perfect shade of brown that goes with this blazer I just think this whole outfit has got me looking like money bag Okay, so the next item is actually this patterned wrap top right here. This color just made me want this top so badly. I usually don't wear like really bright colors or reds and things like that. But something about this pattern and the color just really caught my eye. I got it in a US size 4 as well. It's like a chiffon material, I guess kind of like ties around the waist. And it's got long sleeves, so let's see how this wears and what I can style it with i love this shirt holy crap the color the pattern it looks even better on than i anticipated a lot of the times it just looks so much better in pictures you need this in your life my mom actually helped me pick this out when i was like adding things to my car she was like this color is so nice you definitely have to get it too much patterns and too much colors usually scare me but i'm so glad that i did grab this so I paired it with a pair of black patent leather pants. This is such a nighttime look. You can wear this out to dinner and then if you're going dancing afterwards, that's usually what we do. Go out to dinner and then go out dancing. So I think it's perfect for that. I paired it with the mules that I showed you guys um, from Misguided as well. I think it looks so good with the black patent pants and then I'm a little bit of like a chrome detail here. This whole outfit looks so snatched if I do say so myself. Because it's such a pretty girly dressy top, I want to give it a little bit of an edge with the patent leather pants. You can always substitute these for jeans if you wanted to. And also the denim shorts that I was wearing in my previous look, you can also substitute it for that if it's a little bit too hot for patent leather pants. Honestly, you could just do so much with this top, which is why I absolutely love it. But I'm really digging this whole look. So I would actually rock this with a red lip. I never do red lips. For this top, I feel like it would look so good with a red lip. So. Do a red lip. Just just trust me on this one. Do a red lip. Okay, so the next item that I got, oh my god, just looking at myself in the viewfinder with this top on, I feel like such a classy lady. So the next item that I got is this like uh the 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 I'm telling you this gracefulness it doesn't it doesn't jive with my personality it won't let me speak it's like taking over my body I'm possessed so this next top it's like a halter type of top but it's not halter which is amazing because I think halters are kind of uncomfortable but the reason I got it is this twist front detail at the front I just feel like I don't have enough dressy summery going out types of tops this is something very different from what I generally wear out so I'm excited to try this out. So real quick, I kind of have an idea. I was gonna style this with something else, but then there's another piece that I ordered here that caught my eye and I feel like the two of them will go together really well. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I got these camo pants. Oh my God, this quality is so good. It's so thick, holy crap. And for the price that it is, oh my God, I'm really impressed. So it's like cargo camo and it's just that different type of print. I actually don't have this color. I love camo. And the reason why I love camo as well is because I feel like it's very timeless. You'll notice camo always goes out of style and then it comes right back in in like two years. I kid you not. So if you have camo things in your closet, don't ever get rid of them. And I got these pants also in a US size 4. Actually, everything that I've gotten in my haul is in a US size 4, which is a UK size 8. Um... I don't know, I just feel like these two will go together because this is very laid back and casual but then this is very dressy and I'm just picturing in my head it might be the perfect mix of the two worlds, you know? And it's gonna make a really cute little sexy baby. Let's try it out. I think I'm a genius. I am, I'm obsessed with this look. I need to go out somewhere right now so I can show this outfit off because I'm in love with it. 
first of all, let me just say this top is so flattering right around here. I think it looks so good on. And the best part about this top, okay, so it's a chiffon material, which is obviously not stretchy at all. And before I put it on, I was kind of like, oh, I forgot to button it up in the back. And I got a little bit of deodorant on it. Uh, but anyways, you guys can't see that. So the best part about this top is it actually has a zip on the side, so it's really easy to put on. That's a lifesaver because this has no stretch to it. I'm obsessed with this top. I'm gonna check if they have it in other colors. You know what? I think they did have it in a white. Your girl's gonna have to get that because it's such a nice top for the summer. I already know this I can wear with so many different bottoms, but I just had a vision in my head to rock it with these bottoms because this is so casual and edgy. This is so girly and feminine, but I think it works so well. And these pants fit very well as well. They fit me really comfortably around the waist and the butt. Usually I have a problem with pants. They are usually loose on my waist if they fit my thighs and my butt. These fit perfectly. The only thing is, I'm a midget, so it's a bit long at the bottom. It's a little bit bunched, but I'm not too mad at it because it does have an elastic on the bottom, so it's not like I'm drowning in it. I'm okay with that. And I paired this with the black mule, so that's kind of the vision I had in my mind, um, just to dress it up with the shoes. I could have gone for a very casual look with this as well if I switched it out for some running shoes, which I think would look good too, but I don't know, because this top is so dressy and like I kind of wanted to show you guys an alternative to a night out type of outfit that doesn't have to be with like leather pants or like skinny jeans all the time. Do you know what I mean? Catch my drift? I feel like Kourtney Kardashian would wear this and her style is just like... So anyways, <clears throat> I love this outfit so who wants to go out with me right now? We're on to the last item. I can't believe it. It's coming to an end. So sad. Okay, so I'm just gonna get right to it. So when I love something, I, I know it's kind of a problem because I feel like I need it in like every color possible. So kind of, that's, that's, that's kind of what happened here. Um, I got these like cargo trousers basically pretty much. Um, they're in like an army green. It says khaki on here, but yeah, they're like an army green. In person, I don't know, the color looks... It, I feel like I'm being played, like my eyes playing like tricks on me because it kind of looks charcoal and in the package I was like, it's black. I, I know I had the black one added in my cart as well, but I opted for the khaki one which is supposed to be like an army green, but it's a really dark color. It's more like charcoal army green if that makes sense, but these pants do come with a chain so I was really happy about that. A lot of these pants don't include the chain, like what's up with that? So anyways. And it is removable if you wanted to tone down the look and not wear the chain with it. So you can always attach this to other pants as well. Let's see how this fits. Oh, it's got like elastics at the bottom. Duh. And you can always wear a belt around the waist. Um, what I like about these pants is by removing these chains, you can make it very dressy. So it doesn't have to be grungy. It can be feminine. I'm, I'm gonna show you how. Oh, guys, I have some devastating news. So those pants, the green pants that I was gonna try on, um, I ordered a US size 4, but they sent me the wrong size and I made sure to check that I didn't add the wrong size and I didn't So I'm gonna have to send them back. These would not go up my butt So I couldn't even try them on to show you guys, but I was gonna pair with this shirt right here It's short sleeve collared floral print um, It's a little bit crop right here. I'm wearing sweatpants. Don't mind me um it's a little crop right here, so I was gonna wear it with that and kind of balance out the edginess with this soft like floral print. And the shoes I was going for were these white mules that I talked about in a couple of my other videos. I think it just would have been such a feminine twist to like a very edgy pair of pads. Fortunately, it didn't quite work out according to plan, but that's okay. At least I'm able to show you guys um, the outfit that I had in mind. I actually got this from Forever 21 very recently, so I'll link this down below as well. As well as the mules, those are from Forever 21 as well. I have to say, this is actually the first time that Misguided has made an error on my order. It's like never happened before, but I will need to send these back because unless I can like slice off half my butt, it's definitely not going to be fitting me. Anyways, 
that brings me to the end of this video. If you guys made it till the end, then high five to you because I know I talk a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked the looks that I put together for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite look was or what you would style it with instead. I would honestly love to know. If you're new, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell thingamajiggy so that you can be notified every time I post a video. And thank you so much for giving me your undivided attention and I'll see you guys in the next one. I know I'm like talking real fast because I want to go outside and enjoy this weather right now because I have some serious FOMO happening right now. So, bye.